Ceiling collapsed and guess what dropped in? Look at that! Stupid bear dropped into my house! Holy crap! No, 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 no! Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, this is Games for Kicks and welcome to the zombie infested world of a rainy seven days to die. Yes, I have settled down here. This is basically what this looks like, this little base. Now it's not very sturdy in the sense that when zombies are tested it a little bit and let zombies come in, but they actually they can hit me through this as well, but crawlers are not getting through it. And as far as I know dogs won't either, but um, when zombies hit this part, they still can, like, really hit it. So, this will break very easily. So I'm not sure this is going to be the safest place to be when there's a, a feral horde. But, I definitely will try to use this in a way with some maybe defenses around it and spikes here. And once I have the spikes here, the zombies are actually going to be hitting this part here. Because in the moment I tested it and the zombies were standing here, and they kept hitting this block here. But once they stand here, they will be hitting the concrete. Now, I'm not going to finish this because I want to do some exploring today. And I want to show you what I did. Um, yeah, sorry about the last episode being more relaxed. But ugh, I wish every episode could be like the Hope City Run, to be honest. I love the action. Anyway, so the reason they're not upgraded is because I'm not finished um, <laughs> upgrading them. Um, so I actually leave that open here. So I have a little bit of an entrance here. I have some uh, grain alcohol burning and I really have to start. You see down here will be a room. Okay. Whoops. Just Sorry, one second. I forgot to do the usual and forgot to start my timer. So um, this will be a room down there. And um, I just did some very basic things like down here so I can basically get in and out. And then on the other side, we're, oh, to get back out, we are going to have to, um, yeah, we have to find a way to get back out. Anyway, so as you can see here, look at this. Oh, there you go. And what do you think is on the end of that? Exactly. It's our, there you go. Now I'm replacing the floor in the moment with more half blocks because look what happens when I jump here because of, of the woodlock spikes up there. Oh, it didn't happen. Oh, why didn't it happen? Okay, that's weird. He doesn't seem to get hurt, oh, there we go. So you can actually get hurt, okay, when you jump up there because the woodlock spikes, but if you stand here, you don't jump high enough. And you actually get a better view of this because if you lo stand on the wood, you have to kind of crouch. And it's kind of weird because crouching is too low and standing is too high. So I found this actually being really, really good. So I hope to upgrade to find a steel book soon. And then I can upgrade all these guys from concrete uh, to steel. And then this is sorted. In the moment, I will just use metal siding on the outside until I have that. And that should hopefully hold the feral hordes back long enough. So you can't get out from here. Okay, and that's intentional. So, because this is more of a defense tower, if you want to see it like this. Now, I haven't fully upgraded this. In here, I will have chests with weapons and, you know, things that I have to quickly get. I haven't upgraded all the walls yet. So, I just did some basic things during the night. Um, if you wonder how to do this, how to connect different things, um, you use the map. Okay, so basically, you can see where you are at any given time up here and when i'm standing here yeah i can see where my coordinates are here so what I, what you do basically is you take the the east coordinate or what is it east coordinate yeah you take the east coordinate or the south coordinate and you dig until you hit that south coordinate and then you go and do the east coordinate and once you hit that exact spot you know okay i'm too high or too low and then the height and low you're kind of it's I guess and then you kind of dig down so what i did originally was i dug all the way up here and then came down and then i just repaired it all again to make it like a nice slope instead of just that drop so it, it is easy enough but it is it, it can be quite complex so now i want to get back up here Ugh, crap i actually have designed this really weirdly so let me just 
place this here as a step. Okay, this is all gonna be dug out as well with the roof, um, so that um, because you can see it's very close to the to the surface and we can die very quickly. So there's five grain alcohol, which should be enough for our journey. And um, yeah, I took most of the corn. I went back to the base and took some of the corn and um, some of the water. And that should get us started. Now I have 500 wood spikes. Now we go on exploring because we have to go loot. And oh, we have oh we have a horde coming in. Let's test out. Oh, we don't have woodlock spikes on the outside. So oh, they're walking above. You see that? I think that's dogs. I don't think they have noticed me, did they? Actually, test if the dogs will see us. Ah, oh, they already passed, are they? Yeah, they already passed. Ah well, you know. Doesn't matter. I didn't realize that the dogs were still on the go. So let's put that in there. Let's take a few of those and I'm gonna go out here. There's a bear nearby, but I don't really know where it is. I have a secret little chest here, which I used as a... I need to make some more arrows basically quickly. Iron arrows. How many can I make? 600, that's a bit much. 300 is with much. Yeah, 150. That that should be enough. Um, let's make another 135. So that way we have uh, plenty with us, and we can leave the stone then here because we don't really need it, and um, we can leave the arrows here. Brilliant. So let's eat some cornbread, drink some of that. There you go, and off we go. So the target is, or the aim is, um, oh, I never made a bed actually here, which is really bad. So just let me make quickly a bed. I completely forgot about the bed. Now, oh crap, I have no cloth on me. So let me see what type of bed I can actually make. Um, an old bed is cloth as well. And this, yeah, I want to make an old bed. So one, two, three, four, five, so five cloth. Do I have no cloth at all on me? Oh, wow, okay. So, let's just get quickly some cloth, and I'm back in a second. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bed, and then I'm going to meet you guys up here, because this is where I want to explore. So I see Holy you guys crap, Apple, I just got the fright of my life. I was just trying to place my bed, and the ceiling collapsed, and guess what dropped in? Look at that! Stupid bear dropped into my house! Holy crap! No, 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 no! Oh shit! Um, I don't want him to... Can I hit him? He's stuck, which is good, but I want to see if I can hit him. He's not able to hit me, but can I hit him? No. Oh yes! And it's sneak damage, good. Oh, excellent. Wow, this was amazing! Yeah, give him a couple of critical hits on the noggin. Holy crap! Oh, man. Oh, wow, wow, he's getting angry now. I better, I hope I can kill him fast. Because I have no way of getting out. Wow! That was... Holy crap, he gave me a bloody heart attack! Holy shit! <laughs> that was, oh man, that gave me such a fright, you have no idea! Oh my god! Okay, so let's just... Holy crap, I was so unprepared for that! Oh man, I think I'm gonna have to upgrade that sooner rather than later. Holy crap, okay. Um, okay, let's go down here. Well, at least we get some meat out of it. That's good. And we just have to destroy that. Oh my... That was really, really... Wow! <laughs> and we pick up that. So I was literally just about to place the bed and... This guy came in and the heart attack was for real. Oh, holy moly. Holy macaroni. Um, don't need that. Um, let's 
put the meat away because that is all good. Okay, so leave that here, leave that here. Wow, sorry about the delay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna meet you at the crossroad. I just came by the campsite here yet. We don't really need that right now. Oh, a car. Oh, a headlight, nice. I think we need that for the mini bike. That is pretty sweet. Um, let me see. Nothing in here. Yeah, that's the campsite here. I was just on my way over there, and there's another house there, so we might have a quick look through that. And do I have my helmet with me? Yeah. Oh, backpack. Okay. Scrap that. A hunting rifle stuck. Don't need it, but water. Always need water. And we might as well eat um, that. Yeah, there was a dog on the way. That's why I have to leather hide or uh, animal hide on me. Okay, I think that's it. I didn't miss anything else. Did I? No, because I hate when I when I think I looted everything and then I read in the comments, Dude, why didn't you loot that? And it's like, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Now, let's get back on track. Let's actually go past the house and have a look into, into the house as well, because uh, these houses can have books as well, as far as I know. Oh, frosty lady. You take these. Looks lovely though the the cloth. Oh, of course we're gonna take that. Now, um, oh, this is a forge house. Actually, that's brilliant because that means I have a forge closer than. Um, okay, I have to deal with these guys, otherwise they're gonna come and destroy everything. Where are they coming from? Let me see. There they are. Are they actually after me? I don't think they are. So I think they're just passing by, so I don't really need to worry about them. Yeah, they're just passing by. I just want to have a very quick loot through here. There's a oh, empty bookshelf. Okay, water. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, water. Empty jars. Oh, sorry, I, I'm gonna take that frame off Yeah, I know people were saying that they hate that when you see the wood frame the whole time in the screen. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, that's it down here. Toilet. Um, it's quickly. I don't think there's anything upstairs, really. There's a desk, and that's about it. Oh! I know it's poor quality, but hey, hey, hey! Because we have actually a gun, which I forgot to take with me. So... Yeah, I don't think you see the way you get six scrap. What used to happen is when you scrap this, you get uh, more than six, but they have changed that, so you still get six. Okay, that is cool. Now, I left myself with very little room, but it's okay. You know, we prioritize as we go along. Um, okay, so let's um, put that here, and that's good to know that we have a forge right here beside us. Very good. Ignoring all the zombies, and now, what I want to do is, once I get to the road, I want to head north, is it? No, south. And see if there's anything we can loot, like a village or something. Yeah? So this is, this is quite a long walk, actually. And I'm not too worried about nightfall, because if it gets night and we're not going to make it back, then, you know, that should be slippery. That would be cool. They could, like, do an ice skate or something. He gives experience, a lot of it, so... We have to take him out. Nah, I prefer aiming like that, though. Um, yeah. Okay, we don't... We're not gonna take the fuck. We're gonna eat the dog food. And we're gonna eat this, actually. So that bear gave me a heart attack. So, from here, where are we gonna go? We have no POI over there, even though there's a path, and they said all paths lead to a POI. But I don't think there is one. Um, so let's head up this road, and I'm gonna be back when I find something interesting. So, you guys don't have to suffer the, um... <laughs> 
not suffer, but you know, I want you guys to see a bit more progression than this. I mean, Hope City episode was really exciting. Uh, so I hope the last episode was not too much of a downer, and I hope these episodes are not too much of a downer now either. So, come on. Good boy. I need the experience, lady. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Oh, that's good. Oil is always good. Now, let's see if we come across a village. Oh, yes. Look what I came across. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, nice. Read. Oh, exploding crossbow schematic. Nice. We're finally getting a bit lucky. And a sniper receiver, so screw the paper and the egg. Um, and actually screw the jars while we edit and... That is pretty cool. I like it. Well, we have enough coffee, but let's leave it in for now. That is awesome. Come on, let's drink this. And let's throw this out. That is pretty awesome. So... Let's loot quickly this house here. Hey guys! Because the experience as well, I mean, we're gonna have to kill zombies in every episode now as much as possible. Because on instant crafting, that is the, literally the only reliable way to um, gain experience. Now, this is not a forge house, but hopefully I can find something useful in there. Oh, wow, that was lucky that I was backing up at the same time. Oh, powder, I like that. Ah, I don't need the... the nails. Is there anybody else coming? No, oh. Oh, there's a bear, don't like bears. They're heavy bastards, they break into your base. Oh, clue, nice. And, oh. Okay, there's people coming, I don't have time. Okay. Now let's sort these guys out. Oh! That was not clever, I went too close. Yeah, I took one of my grain alcohol so I can run the whole time going down the road. Oh, duct tape, nice. So, yeah, you know what, screw the coffee. We have enough coffee and we're making grain alcohol anyway, so. Oh, yes, this is where the ammunition crate is, that's right. Yes. Oh, okay, is there another? Oh, there. Okay, so let's break into that. Actually, let's start from the top and... Oh, no, so... See if there's anything interesting. Don't care about the potato. Uh, scrap that into repair material. Okay, and we might have another loot run after this episode if I find a village further south. Actually, I don't want the bear to come in that easily, so I'm sorry. This has to go here. And let's see. Oh! Sweet. Okay, let's put a little... What are we gonna put away? I, I know, you probably... Okay, I have enough of those, actually. So I don't need them right now, but this is awesome. How do you repair them? Oh, awesome, they take metal strips to repair it. That is so sweet. Oh, They're not as good, though. No. So, scrap? I will leave them in here. Maybe we'll come back. Ooh, excuse me. Apologies. Ah, uh, yeah, now I find a mining helmet. Oh, a bandana. Can I wear a bandana? Or do I already own one? Oh, black. I'm gonna take the black one over the red one. Because it looks more badass. Oh, raw pork. Okay, and what do we have here? No books, nothing. More medicine here. Oh, we take that immediately. Because that raises wellness. And we already did this, no? Okay, so now, to get through here... It should be faster to get through here than through the, through the door. There you go.
go. So let's lock that. The only reason I'm showing you all of this is so you can see how long it takes. There you go. Oh, a blue pistol part. That is awesome because I have a green pistol. Oh, I need both of those parts. Oh. Mm, okay. So, what do I want to get rid of? Actually, I'm going to have to start looking at things. Okay, so, yeah, screw the animal hide. We have enough. I have to screw this, the gunpowder. Um, I think I have plenty of duct tape. I don't really need the glue. And I don't really need that too much because I have an, a mine right beside me. Yeah, so... And I don't need the duct tape. I have plenty of duct tape. I leave the clue. Actually, I'm gonna take the duct tape with me. And we better get out of here, I think. Ooh! A dog horde. I'm very lucky in avoiding them today. I'm just gonna wait until they pass. There's no way I'm just gonna confront them like that. I probably could, but... Eh. Couldn't be arsed, really. Okay, let's continue down the road and see what we come across. Okay, guys. Look. Look, 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 look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of try to find... Um, a house to settle down in here for the night. So, but we're gonna clear out basically as many zombies as we can. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna try to loot all the zombies because people said that they have found books on zombies. Okay, nothing here. Oh. Oh, nice. They're all coming out to play. That's good. At least we have a little bit of action. Hey, don't run away from me, mister. Don't you run away from me when I'm shooting at you! I love these arrows. Or oh, that bow quality, it's brilliant. Okay, now, there's lots of stone there as well. These guys give the most experience. So if you look actually at the experience now that I have, I have 325. Let's see, 325. 625. So these guys give 300 points. I think we already had covered that at some point. Um, but... Okay, they have no loot on them at all. That is... I keep picking up black powder and then I'm gonna... I'm disregarding it. Um, oh yeah, of course. There's no point scrapping it. Because... I don't need to worry about that. How much experience do these crawlers actually give? I wonder. That is 925. I think they give 100. So I should be at 148 now. Yeah, 14825. And these guys? Oh. Nice. Um, yeah, they give a hundred as well. So, like I said, I, I did actually like the idea of a tiered experience. <clears throat> what I would like to see the fun films change in the future, um, and hopefully soon, because that would be really awesome, is that they balance the experience you get from zombies with the difficult level to play, play it. Um, so say, say if I'm playing on Nomad, these guys give me 100 experience. If I decide to play on Insane, 
these guys should give me 400 or 500 experience. I don't know. I'm just making up a number. I'm not saying it has to be 500. I'm simply saying that um, there has to be a number, you know, that is higher than the 100. Now, because on Insane, the zombies do 200% the damage. I want to clear out first and pick a house and then loot in the next episode and uh, make a loot chest outside on the road. And I want to clear out the area first. So I... Um, I would think that would be fair, because I think skill should... Well, it is skill. If you're playing on Insane and uh, you're killing zombies... I mean, you're not getting experience, obviously, from killing zombies with uh, woodlock spikes or pipe bombs. So uh, that's only fair, because you still can't XP farm, you know? But um, it just means that you get... It takes you longer to kill a zombie. So it should, it should gain a higher reward, because that's the same as the crafting timers. <coughs> The crafting timers, they give you more XP, the longer, the higher you have your crafting time set. So on fast, you don't get as many, as much craft XP than on, on normal. So because it takes longer to craft, they give you more experience. Now I think, whoa, 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 whoa. I think that's only fair than to um, do it for, oh crap, oh. Ah, crap, 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 crap. I'm talking too much. So I think it's only fair that the longer you spend on killing a zombie because he's, he, he, you, you do less damage. I mean, on Insane, I think you do 25% of the dam of the normal damage you usually do. And on Insane, you do two, uh, they do 200 to you. So there's a much bigger challenge. So I think it should be rewarded. And I hope they really look into that. I, I Oh, thank you. So I added a post on the forums uh, under Alpha 13. I'm not sure if I put it into the right thread. I hope I did. And I suggested it, and I furthermore suggested that the weapon quality should also matter, yeah? I mean, they did that in games like World of Warcraft, for example. If you have a serious amount of damage and you're high level, you get very little experience from lower level creatures. But seeing that zombies don't have levels, I think the weapon quality can start playing a role. So, like, say, for example, I kill a zombie with a quality 1 weapon, yeah? I should get much more experience than killing it with a quality 500 sniper rifle. Uh, or they should add levels to the zombies, but then we're gonna get into problems of leveling areas, you know, leveling zones where you have to manage what levels the zombies are in different zones. So I think it would be easier for the fun pimps at this stage if they would want to do that to just say, okay, fair enough. The higher you, your, le your, your, your weapon level is that you use to kill zombies, the less experience you get. And I think that would be fair. So it me because that means you wouldn't be able to farm experience either. So you couldn't just take a fi find an epic 500 sniper rifle on level one and then go ex uh, XP hunting because you couldn't because you would probably get zero experience if you have a 500 sniper rifle. Yeah, on zombies. So I don't know. I'm not saying to do it exactly like that. All I'm saying is like that. I think it would be good to look into the direction of doing something like that. That would be pretty awesome, I think, in my opinion. So, anyway, we're gonna pick a house, and I'm gonna see in the next episode, after I pick my house and cleared out more of these zombies, and um, I suppose i see you guys then. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, even though it is a bit more calmer and a different style than the Hope City runs, and now zombies are running, so I better find a house. I'm gonna pick this one, so... I hope there's nobody in there. It looks empty. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to the loot run in the next episode, because a lot of you guys actually said that they enjoy exploration and loot run, so I tried to mix it up a bit, but there will be another action-packed Hope City run, because 500 log spikes, believe me, there will be about 2,000 in my inventory when I go back to the Hope City. So, um, thank you very much for watching, kick that like button in the arse if you enjoyed the episode, and I hope I see you guys in the next video. Until then, viel Spaß, and happy gaming.